problem is is that all of you people and I've got to include myself I mean let's admit it if you're gonna live in this country and you want to stay out of jail you have to pretty much do what you're damn told and libertarians at conferences like this we all sit around with each other we talk the talk but we get out there in the real world it's extremely hard to walk the walk so we all act like whip dogs roll over on our backs if our master even threatens to use the newspaper and wet ourselves and it's, it's absolutely disgusting and I gotta tell you it's all about authority authority is your enemy well authority I mean people ask me hey you got a problem with authority and I say no I don't have a problem with authority I just don't like people telling me what to do <laughs> so you see the best demonstration of your fellow American whip dogs when you go through TSA at the airport and I watch these people going through you just watch them how they how they deal with these little bed bugs that that are inspecting them and I promise you you will see these people you'll see them smile you'll see them smile at the agent and they'll make placating and supplicating motions and tell little jokes together and who are, who are these? These are the lowest scum of humanity where do they get these 50,000 people? 50,000 people that work for the TSA what were they doing before they joined up? To, it's the most degrading job I can think of it's the most degrading job. People make fun of garbage men. That's an honorable occupation. These people, what were they doing before they signed them up? They actually went to work doing something that uh, is a, a subhuman. I mean, ask yourself that. And then ask yourself, where did Hitler get the Gestapo? Where did the, where, where did he, those people had jobs. I'll tell you who they were. They're people that were there right now that are eh, they're shoe salesmen they're waitresses they're mailmen they're all kinds of people but it's like bed bugs when you turn the light out that's when they come out or it's like mushrooms after after a storm that's when they bloom if you say change the social tenor of a country these people evidence themselves they come out from under nowhere now why is that it's a question of psychology aberrant psychology actually it's not a question of it's not a question of uh, uh, intellectual arguments where these people have decided that socialism is right and makes sense. I mean, socialism has never been an intellectual problem ever. What it is, it's a psychological aberration. That's what we're dealing with, and and that's why we're in real trouble because that's what it is. It's a spiritual problem. Now. At meetings like this, you all are getting lots of good intellectual arguments about why the government doesn't work, why freedom does, why socialism uh, is is pathological, and and freedom is, is 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 moral and efficient both. But that doesn't really do you much good. If you were arguing with Dick Cheney about this, who I consider to be the most prominent criminal uh, in the US and he should definitely be tried for war crimes and all kinds of crimes against humanity uh, are you going to convince him by cogent intellectual arguments that what he's doing is wrong no your chances of doing that are about as good as convincing a cat that he shouldn't toy with the mouse before he kills it you're not going to do it intellectual arguments won't won't work it's it's like trying to convince a reptile hunting a rabbit that what he's doing he shouldn't be doing so it's the same way when you're doing with these people is it because Cheney is stupid no he's not he's not stupid at all that's not the problem it's that his nature he's like a reptile I think people have speciated on mental grounds actually and you could no more mate with these people psychologically than you can mate with a chimpanzee and I, I, it's, it's that much of a difference between them now, you think I'm kidding everybody knows that power corrupts but let me give you an addendum to that that you probably haven't heard corrupt people are attracted to power and whenever you have a lot of power it's that rain storm that brings out the mushrooms it's the darkness that brings out the bed bugs that's what happens you got two types of people in the world remember this two types of people one type of person 
believes in controlling physical reality. They're the scientists, the inventors, the creators that like to make things from material universe. And the other type of person are people that don't believe in controlling reality. They believe in controlling other people and manipulating other people. Those are the two types of people in the world. And those types of people are inevitably drawn to power. That's why the government is overwhelmed with them. All these people that work for the government have that psychological mindset. Also, big corporations and also the media. So I don't trust any of them. Now, I want to talk about two things. I want to talk about whether we're dealing with knaves or fools. Are we dealing with stupid people or evil people? But let me take these one at a time. Stupidity. Let's talk about Cheney. He's not stupid. He's actually got a very high IQ if you were to take an IQ test. But you're saying, well, maybe Bush. Bush doesn't look evil. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fool. He's not a knave. Pity the poor fool. Uh, I like to use Occam's razor when I'm analyzing things. And Occam's razor says that the simplest and easiest explanation is usually the best one. But I've thought about this. Einstein's thought about this, too. And to paraphrase Einstein, he said that after hydrogen, the most common thing in the universe is stupidity. And <laughs> stupidity will explain a lot of things. There's no question about it. Now, let me define some words. I believe in defining words carefully and closely, because if you don't define your words carefully, then how can you possibly know what you're talking about, OK? So let's talk about stupidity and what is it? What is it? Most people will say, well, stupidity, that's low intelligence. Well, that's right, but that doesn't tell us anything we don't really know. Yeah, it's low intelligence, but we can be much more precise than that. Let's take a look at the average person, for instance. I'd say the average person is pretty stupid. But when you look at if the average person is stupid, by definition, 50% of people are less than average. So how stupid are they? Now, the baby Bush, as you know, those of you who subscribe, how many people of oh, y'all take, take my letter? I'm just wondering. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised. I thought that to, to pay 60 bucks for a rubber chicken lunch that you'd almost all, all be subscribers, but I'm, I'm very pleased to find that that's true. Um, I've always said, when he was first elected, I said, this guy is a moron. Now, you might think I was saying that as a pejorative. You know, people often say, oh, he's stupid or he's a moron. It's a pejorative. But no. See if you can speak in the microphone maybe a little bit more. Oh, okay. A little, a little bit louder. Okay, I like to use a hand mic like Sammy and, and Dean and, and Frank <laughs> used to do. It's, it's the entertainment business, and this is Las Vegas. Okay. But most people don't know that stupidity actually does come in technically defined flavors. A moron, an imbecile, and an idiot. They're used <laughs> interchangeably, but they are different things in a, in a clinical sense. Um, an imbecile is somebody who is noticeably not smart. You can detect it immediately, but they can get by with a little bit of assistance. An idiot is somebody who's so stupid he has to be institutionalized. He's, okay? A moron is a much more interesting case. Now, a moron is somebody that you can talk about the weather and the state of the roads, you can talk about sports, you can talk about sitcoms. You say, oh, it's just an average person, okay? The Bush can talk about the war, the economy. You think it's just an average person, kind of. But that's not really the case. I think that Bush has got an IQ of about 85. 